So who is permaculture for? Well, my answer is it's for you, quite simply. Whoever you are, whatever you are doing, you can use permaculture to benefit your life and those around you. Permaculture can be applied to anything that we do in the human world, be it you know, growing good healthy food, organizing a business so that it is a circular economy, setting up communities so that everybody is looked after, looking after our oceans, clearing up damage that we've already done. There's, there is no end to how we can apply permaculture because it has a mythology. It has a way to actually act, to observe, to design, to implement. And then we need other people around us. Yeah, we can have a designer. Then we need to have someone who implements it. Could be the same person, could be someone different. We need someone to maintain it. We need someone to, you know, bring things to. We need someone to organize the laws. You know, we have whole community systems that we can set up. So everybody can have a place wherever you want to be, right? Here's a great thing to think about. You know, we all have, I like to call it a superpower. So when we are, when we're in the right place in, a, in our society, in our community, in our family, when we're doing what we love, what we're great at, then we're a huge benefit to the other people around us because perhaps they don't want to do that particular um, task. So, you know, part of you know good design is actually you know knowing where you fit in, you know, where you are doing your superpower. Because then, you know, when we all are in our right position, we're very, very effective. And when we work together, we're much stronger. We're much more efficient and we can produce amazing results. And this is not just the humans. If you look at nature, when nature really is in its, in its thriving, you go to an old growth forest and you see the diversity of trees, plants, animals, insects, the fungi, everything is in some kind of, um, it may be in competition at times, but there's also a lot of coexistence and a lot of cooperation. So we don't we don't really see you know huge um, problems. You know you may you may see some animals or insects being um, outcompeted by others as things progress in succession. But Germany once they when they've reached that climax vegetation state, then then things are pretty stable. And that's what we need to do you know with our our human systems as well. We can we can we can find those those sweet spots. Where we live in harmony, you know, with each other and with our planet. So we're going to talk a bit more about that as we progress.